Hey, come to the dressing room. We're doing an interview right now. An interview. Just come to the dressing room. Big brothers, so they like each other a lot. Here's Fiddler. 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 Yeah. Fiddler. Fiddler. Okay. This is Leon, reporting for WCVB, and I'm here in the dressing room with Fiddler. How's it going, guys? Good. Excellent. Good. Should you introduce yourselves and what you're playing in the My name is Zach. I play guitar and I sing. Bark. I actually bark. I don't sing. I. In Brandon, I play bass. I am. I am Max. I play drums. And how long have you guys been band? Mm. And Elvis is in yeah, the band Elvis too. He too. plays guitar and sings. He's, He's running an errand right now. Uh, we've been band maybe like two and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like a little years. over three years. We were like, we were band for like a year, but we didn't really count that. It was a slow <laughs> start. So maybe like, like two years. Out. Two years like. Yeah. Grinding it. Grinding like Being as a band, you know, working hard. At it. We have a ruckus style with fast-paced, fun music. I really dig it. Good Thanks. stuff. I'm looking forward to the show tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a message or an ultimate goal behind what you're doing? Uh, I mean, not really. Just, just kind of like to just enjoy what we're doing and yeah. have other people enjoy it, and just kind of like where we grew up, it, or like where we play in LA and stuff like in Silver Lake, Echo Park area. Um, it's like. Yeah, I guess it's like a Williamsburg of, you know, the oh. LA. There's just a bunch of indie bands, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with indie rock or anything like that, but there's a bunch of woe is me kind of bands. And there's a lot of bands that try, like, really hard to be really, like, like sad, cool, like, or, like, cool like, sad. have a thing, and then we kind of just, like, took the opposite of, like, we just want to do what we want and have fun and, like, write songs about, like, shit we do every day. Yeah. Tell so. us. Welcome to the interview. What's going on? Really so, Elvis, what are you playing with that? I play guitar. Okay, great. Yeah. So you're signed to Mom and Pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you share a roster with some very accomplished artists in the last five years, uh, like yeah. Andrew Bird, Metric, and Horse, the Jezebels, and uh, Slay Bells, who are getting really big this year. Yeah. Very yeah. hot right now. So, yeah. uh, what made you sign with Mom and Pop? That. Yeah, that was a big thing. They had a lot of bands that were doing really well. And we were like, oh, because we were talking with different labels and like, should we work with people that are more like in the vein of the music we play? I don't know, like, they were the nicest dudes ever, too. Yeah. Uh, they came to every, like, during CMJ and during South by Southwest, they came to every single show. And like, they were just the nicest people in the world. And they were really persistent. Like, they were like the most stoked. Yeah. Like, and Craig Winkler yeah. is hilarious. Is that pop? He's, he's pop. <laughs> he should be pop. <laughs> Out of LA right now, hot scene right now, what unknown band do you think is is next to be on the biggest thing from LA? Anus um, Kings. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. maybe. Death Hymn number nine. I like yeah. that too. Okay. Those are just our, our favorite bands. Yeah, like our friends, our friends that we play with, and they're yeah. really the shrine. Cool. Yeah. yeah, the shrine. Our state governments just combined a couple of days ago. Democrats who control the state assembly proposed a bid to decriminalize marijuana as a method to uh, combat the controversial stop and frisk practice of the NYPD. Are you familiar with all of this? Uh -huh. uh, yesterday, the Republicans who run the state Senate up in Albany they shot it right down. Uh, what is your opinion on the decriminalization of Mary Jane? Absolutely. I just think it's retarded that that's like, I can even, it's yeah, yeah, despite the fact that I even partake sometimes in smoking weed, alcohol is like so much more. Yeah, of like, oh, an don't you say to take away alcohol and say, no, that's what I'm not saying, no, I'm saying that it's just, it's insane to no, me that alcohol, that alcohol is like illegal, that's legal, that's fine, but then that pot isn't. I think... I just don't want to pay like taxes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like I get that shit thing. like so yeah. cheap and just selfish purposes. Yeah. You still wouldn't. I like having. But what about your drug dealers? You, you gotta back your dealers. <laughs> just kidding. So that's all I'm saying. My guy, like that. that I go. But to we're talking drug. about decriminalization, not legalization. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that just means you don't like. You don't have yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, you don't go to for yeah, twenty five yeah. years. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm all about that. Okay, well, uh, thank you so much for your time, John. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Any, any last words? Um, what does Fiddler stand for? Fuck it, dog, life's a risk. Just do it. Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm from Fiddler, and you're listening to... WCDB. WCDB. <laughs> Albany. 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 I, 
I'm Zach from Fiddler, and you're listening to WCDB in Albany. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> awesome, man.